Hey guys, what's up? I'm Lauren Wild, your health, fitness, and wellness coach. And today, I'm gonna to be doing a Trader Joe's haul. Um, so if you are interested in knowing what to buy at Trader Joe's, how to save money, how to eat healthy on a budget, keep watching. Okay, awesome. So I wanna just tell you guys, I'm starting um, in the new year, actually today, December, what is it? December 28th. Um, a new health and fitness challenge. You're gonna get a 60 day fitness program. Um, it's, it's actually scientifically designed to help you burn fat and build muscle, um, which makes you burn more fat <laughs> when you build muscle. And a big, big part of that is gonna be a portion control eating system. And what we use, you guys may have heard of this, it's the same kind of 21 day fix um, portion controlled eating system where you get colored containers that tell you how much of each thing you can eat per day. Um, so basically you do an equation based on your lifestyle, your size, your height, and it tells you you need to eat between X and Z amount of calories a day. Within those calories, you need to eat two fruits a day, um, five proteins a day, uh, the greens or veggies, woo, four veggies a day, three carbs a day, that kind of thing. So what it does is it really helps your brain to see, okay, and I usually use these for the first two weeks or so. It basically makes your brain see, okay, look, this is how much protein is. This is actually, it looks small. It's actually less than a large size yogurt that you buy from the store. Um, and that's counted as a protein on the program. So once you know that, you cut up your chicken for a couple weeks, you put your shrimp in there for a couple weeks, you do your yogurts and you see once you dump it on your plate, oh, that's how much chicken I should have each setting, um, at, at each sitting. That's how much yogurt I should have. So when you go out and you're having fun and with your friends and your family and eating out at a restaurant and you get something, you get a plate of protein and sides, you can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take half of those carbs home, maybe eat it for another meal, mix it with something else I have in my fridge. I'm going to eat half of them today because I know how much I'm supposed to be eating of each food group. This is an amazing way to track your nutrition, to make sure you're eating the right foods because you can go out, you can go to restaurants, you can you know, go to barbecues and um, family get togethers and you can eat all the different food groups you want within your portion control. So I love this, it's not, um, you're basically not depriving your body of anything, you're not not eating carbs or not eating fats. In fact, this little thing is for healthy fats. So we wanna make sure that we're eating fats throughout the day. Whether that's um, MUFAs, monounsaturated fatty acids like avocado, or whether it's cheese. You know, it, this system allows for that. So, I wanna do this Trader Joe's haul based on 21 day fix, portion control, nutrition system, or you guys might be trying out or maybe you're interested in, the Masters Hammer and Chisel nutritional system, which also is this portion control color coded system. So I just kinda wanted to say that first and foremost. If you guys have any interest in that, you can follow me, um, you can email me at teamwild, W-I-L-D-E, republic, at gmail.com. Um, or you can follow me on any social media under Team Wild Republic. Um, Wild has an E in it. It's my last name. So, um, and I can give you more info about that. But let's get to the haul. All right. So basically, I want to show you guys. I have. Let me see if I can zoom it out. I have all these bags. Let's count them. One, two, three, four bags full of food. And I spent. Are you guys ready for this? And I'm talking. Snacks, juices, tons of fruits and vegetables. So for people who think that they can't eat healthy on a budget, you can. Um, and I'm going to show you guys everything. Oh, and there's two more bags over here too. Um, $253. We, my family of three will probably be able to eat on this for about a week and a half. So that is pretty amazing. Um, I go to Trader Joe's because all their stuff is antibiotic free. Um, you know, all their animals that they um, provide are cage free, free range. Um, it's mostly organic. All the ingredients are very simple. There's not a lot of added sugars or anything like that. So let's get to it. All right. So in this first bag I have, I love these for my son. He's for his lunch. They're kettle corn light popcorn from Trader Joe's. They've got 120 calories in each bag, four grams of fat, 21 carbs, but only four sugars. I really like these. They're just a simple snack. These aren't super healthy and they would not be on the normal nutrition plan, but if you want something sweet, you want it a little bit light and pretty natural, I would go with this option. So that kettle horn. Da -da -da -da. You guys, this is probably one of my favorite carbs to eat on the nutrition plan because it's a live grains. 
There's nothing added that has been stripped of its nutrients. All of these things have nutrients um, in them. So no yeast, no oil, no baking powder. It's basically live grains and sprouts. So this has 150 calories in a tortilla, 24 carbs, no sugars. The carbs are all coming from the plant and the sprouts and the seeds. Um, I love this because it's a complete protein in a tortilla. Awesome. I do count it as a carb because um, there are some seeds and some other things in here um, on the nutrition plan, but it's a complete carb. So I can chop this up, I can bake them, I can dip them in hummus and have my healthy fat, my complete protein. Really, really good snack idea and a great idea to kind of grill your chicken for the week and um, maybe spread some hummus on one side, pop that in here. You know, maybe do chicken with tortilla seasoning, pop that in here delicious snack or meal. Love Ezekiel everything, but I love the tortillas. Probably the best. All right. Bananas. And how many bananas did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 bananas. Um, I use these for my Shakeology every morning. I love chocolate peanut butter banana Shakeology. I freeze them um, and pop them in that shake and it makes it delicious. So bananas are here. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Oh, I got four Honeycrisp apples. Those are really delicious too if you're craving like a pie or a cake. I pop them, I spray them with coconut oil and I pop them in the micro or the toaster oven and just get them really soft and yummy. Don't add any sugar. Sometimes I add cinnamon. Really good snack when you're really craving something sweet. Um, bell peppers, I like to do stuffed bell peppers with brown turkey. Green onions, because I like to add those to my meats and soups. Huge thing of blackberries. This is actually a really, probably one of the best fruits you can eat on our nutritional program or any really are gonna be berries. So I loaded up on blackberries. My son, he's four and he loves grape tomatoes. So I got a really big pack of grape tomatoes. Now, this is not gonna be totally on the plan, but in a pinch when I'm hungry and I really want like a candy bar or something sweet, I will always grab a Quest bar. I love the chocolate chip Quest bars. You can get these at Trader Joe's. And I love the Oreo cookie ones, and those are usually the only ones that I buy. So Quest bars, <clears throat> red grapes for more fruit. I went ahead and got this um, organic, low-fat, high in vitamin C tomato basil marinara sauce. Um, I love Trader Joe's too because, like, here's the ingredients. Organic tomato puree, which is tomato paste, water, and organic tomatoes. Um, organic basil, organic soybean oil, salt, organic onion, organic garlic powder, organic oregano, organic garlic. So it's very simple ingredients and in all of their stuff. You're not going to get anything like pectin or anything like that. It's just very simple. All right. Um, two onions. I like love to cook with onions. They add tremendous flavor. Four uh, la, 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 sweet potatoes. I love to stuff these with spinach and chicken. Um, I love to just eat them with just just by themselves, just baked, they're delicious. Sometimes I eat them as a snack. Uh, I've got these carrots because I love dipping them in hummus and salsa. It's a really good option other than a chip. All right, let's move on. So these I opened because I want to taste. They're reduced fat or reduced guilt. <clears throat> Corn chips are actually really good. Mm, mm hmm 40% less than regular. I would eat a chip over a candy bar any day. So for me, sometimes I'll just have two or three and just kind of quench that crunch that I'm looking for. So these are great. Um, Pita chips, these are also kind of guilt-free with sesame seeds. They're 40% less fat. Love these. I got these, these are delicious for my son. They're yogurt stars. When we go to another grocery store, he's always like, where are the star cookies? I'm like, you can only get them at Trader Joe's. So they're pretty good too. <clears throat> They've got, I mean, they're coated in yogurt and not candy. So it's a little bit better, but they're not healthy. They're just delicious. Okay, so again, like I said, berries. I love these strawberries. They look beautiful. Just mango slices. I'm obsessed with these. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much I love just mango slices. They literally, look, ingredients. Dried mangoes. <laughs> That's it. They're dried mangoes. So yes, they have sugar. They're nature's candy. They're fruit. They literally taste like a fruit roll-up. That's the consistency of them. So again, if you need something and you just want to grab a slice, it's just a mango, but it's giving you the, the I guess, illusion that you're eating like a candy. So I love these. All right. I got a 
a bottle of $6 champagne at Trader Joe's because we're about to go through New Year's and we're going to a house party. So this is actually really, really good. Six bucks. Love this. Um, all right, moving on. I want to try and do this quickly for you guys. Oh, I love this. This is so great. It's brown rice and quinoa pasta. And like I said, on my um, nutrition plan, I get to eat, I think, three or four, three carbs a day. Um, and this is just great. Where's the ingredients? Organic brown rice, organic quinoa flour, and water. So quinoa is also a complete protein. Um, I count it as a grain, but it's not really a grain. It's more of a seed. So again, when you're putting that in your body, your body is going to process it differently than, you know, stripped whole, you know, flour pasta. Um, so if you're craving pasta, this is a really much more nutri nutritionally dense pasta. Love this stuff. It's amazing. All right. I got some sun-dried tomatoes just because I like to throw these in salads. It's a really good flavor. Um, oh, I love these. They're mini cucumbers. I love to cut these up and use them as like chips to dip in my hummus or salsa or anything like that. So love that. This has to be one of my very favorite Trader Joe finds. It's cooked shrimp. I love, and I think it's like five dollars. It's a ton of shrimp. So you could just you know brown this, um, put in some sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of olive oil, or maybe some coconut oil, and put it over quinoa. Awesome snack. Awesome meal. But this one's my favorite. It's the shrimp is included with all these veggies. You just dump all this into a pot, simmer it, and it comes with a little like salt and pepper seasoning pack. I like to put some sriracha over it. I eat the whole bag. It is delicious. Um, and my boyfriend loves it too. My son loves it. So it's a great way to get your kids to eat their veggies with, in a, with lots of flavor and not a lot of calories and fat. All right, moving on, moving on. Oh, for my shakes in the morning, I love to have these mango chunks. They're perfect size, as you can see just little chunks and they blend up so nice and smooth and creamy in a shake. I love to put them in my Greenberry Shakeology. They're delicious. I also love to, when I get really hot after a workout, I'll pop maybe three or four of these and they're like little mini popsicle. I love them. And again, they're just mango chunks. There are no, you know, yeah, ingredients, mangoes. I love that. No added sugar, no added preservatives, just mangoes. So that's there. This is such an easy way to get your kids to eat their potatoes. It's sweet potatoes. I wish you could see, they come in like these little pucks. If you can see them, they're like little frozen sweet potato pucks. So if you wanted to just do one serving, you could just heat up two pucks. Just give them to your kids, they're really sweet and yummy. Nothing added, it's just sweet potatoes. Sometimes I put pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon in them, they're really good. Or you can make the whole bag for your family. Um, okay. I always get this kosher ground turkey. I just like it, it's super lean. I make a taco turkey soup um, to eat on for like the whole week, almost every week. So I use one pound of that in there. Um, and then I have another pound, I think, for later on. I also love these grilled chicken breasts from Trader Joe's. They're all natural. Um, no animal by byproduct, no hormones, no anti antibiotics. And these, if you guys can see, they're individually packaged, like in a freeze-dried package. So if it's just you or if it's just your child or somebody and you just want to grill up some chicken, chop it up, it's just really nice to have them individually packaged. You can just open it, put it in the pan, ready to go. So this is nice. Um, I love their light cheeses. They have tons of flavors to pick from. This one's just like a three cheese blend. Um, and then this is the uncured turkey hot dogs. They're really good size. My son loves them. Um, so I got that for him. This I can't wait to try because I love avocado and I get to have it on my nutrition plan. This is called Avocado's Number Guacamole. It has five Haas avocados in each little package and you get two. So I just will have a scoop, maybe spread it on my Ezekiel tortilla, throw some chicken in there, some shrimp. Um, th this is really great to have. Like I said, it's all natural. It's just Haas avocados, jalapeno, dehydrated onions, salt, and garlic. So there you go. Super simple. My son loves cheese sticks, and honestly, so do I. I mean, I could eat these all the time. Um, so I like these because they're light um, instead of just the full fat. And again, just pasteurized part skim milk, cheese, cultures, uh, vegetable salt, and salt. Super simple ingredients. I can't say that enough. All right, you guys, almost done here. All right, I love to have eggs. Um, 
just hard boiled eggs for a snack. I usually eat two, that counts as one red on my program. Um, so I'll have that, you know, and maybe an oatmeal for breakfast, my shake for a snack, my shake for lunch. Um, so I just love these. They are, uh, again, additive and hormone free. I just like that. I mean, if you can choose between having that or not, I, I'd rather not have it. Blueberry waffles and pizzas for Halston. Um, and I'm showing you guys those things so you know how much I bought and how much I spent. All right, here we go down the road. Avocado salsa, my boyfriend loves this stuff. He calls it a green drink, so I decided to get it for him. Um, pico de gallo, I love this, it's super natural. Just, you know, peppers and onions, you don't have to make it, it's like homemade. Perfect, perfect. I love these awesome pineapple slices. I mean, they're already done for you. You can just have one spear for a snack. Pretty amazing. Again, light cheese. Um, and also fat-free feta cheese. I love to throw these on salads and it lasts, it stays good for a really long time. So that's awesome. Um, love these. So I love, I'm running out of room over here on my island. This Italian um, chicken sausage tastes like Italian sausage, but it's made out of chicken. So it is chicken raised with no antibiotics, minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. Love that. Tastes delicious. These are amazing. They're already kind of pre-seasoned Brussels sprouts. If you think you don't like Brussels sprouts, give it a shot pre-seasoned. You just pop them in the oven. They're so good and they're so good for you. They have tons of antioxidants um, that really fight free radicals. They're amazing. Um, oh, mushrooms. I just like to throw these in salads or saute them with chicken. It gives a really great flavor. I promise you we're almost done, almost done. 2% milk for my son. I realized since we moved in this house, we have never had ketchup, and my son asks for it all the time, so ketchup. I love these juices. They're 40% fewer calories than normal juices, 40% um, less sugar, regular apple juice, vitamin C. I really like these. So I pop those in his lunch. These are really ingredients to make my taco soup. Um, I love these Cuban-style black beans because they have jalapenos and green chilies in them. They're delicious. Green chilies on their own. I love this fire roasted tomatoes. They really are, they're a totally different flavor than like regular diced tomatoes. Corn, I usually put that in there. And I'm loving this Dynamo juice. This is my son's very favorite juice. I just wanna talk about this for a second. Um, it's got calcium, vitamins A, C, D, and E, and eight vitamins. It's 100% juice, no artificial flavors. It's called Dynamo juice. And let's see what it has in it. Vitamin A, calcium, um, it's just delicious. It's got a lot of minerals and vitamins that he wouldn't normally get throughout the day. And it kind of tastes like pineapple orange juice, like the Dole, if you ever remember that. It's really, really good. So Dynamo juice. I like to sometimes throw those in a shake too if I really want some extra oomph. Um, chicken broth for my soups. All right, and then here we go with this. Huge thing of blueberries. Love to pop these in protein pancakes. Um, or these protein muffins that I make, and they add so much flavor. Um, blueberries are a really good source of antioxidants as well. Celery, I love that these are already cut. I can just use them. I can eat them with peanut butter, any kind of spread. Hummus, I love hummus. I keep saying hummus, but I love hummus. Um, okay, moving on. Again, my boyfriend loves this cilantro salad dressing. It is absolutely fantastic, and a little goes a long way. Sometimes I just put a tiny bit in with the grilled chicken, and it is the best flavor. You can eat it forever. Um, lemons. Lemons are so important to your digestive system. Um, I love to put lemon in my water and my tea. I try to drink tea at least once a day. So these are great and they're a pretty good price. Also, lemons don't go bad quickly. They stay good for a really long time. Spicy hummus, because I was saying I love hummus. I love just the iceberg lettuce. I like that crunch. Um, so I just wash this and chop it up and put it in a, um, Tupperware container with a little paper towel on the bottom just to keep it dry. So that's that. All right. Oh, I love this. I love their mixtures at Trader Joe's. So this is broccoli and kale slaw. Delish. You could add some of that green drink, like my boyfriend says, on there. Um, or just some, you can whip up some yogurt, um, sunflower seeds, and like a yogurt dressing and put this in. This is so good. So that's there. What am I doing? Broccoli, I love these because they steam in the bag, so you just pop them in, you're done. Love it. Um, 
quinoa. These are frozen packets, so you literally just, they're already cooked, and you pop them in the micro for about four minutes, and you've got two servings of quinoa. So that's perfect and easy to do. My son loves these. They're pumpkin Pop-Tarts. They are delicious. Oh, man, they're so good. Okay. Oh, and I love this oatmeal. It's multigrain triple berry with flax and chia. So, again, you're going to be getting some of those monosaturated um, fats, monounsaturated fats. Um, flax is such a good source. It's a great source of fiber. It's a really good way to start the day. So, I love this one. I'm going to have another chip. Okay. That's all. We've completed everything. I'm going to take the camera and let you guys see what $253 looks like on the countertop. If you guys can see, let's see here. I mean, unbelievable. Fruits, vegetables, tons of fruits and vegetables, meats, Brussels sprouts, cheese, you know, juice, dressings, all of this stuff, fruit, all of this awesome, oh, I didn't even show you guys this. Frozen, fully cooked meatballs, love that, turkey meatballs. Strawberries. Ugh. So many amazing fruits and vegetables, which everybody thinks they just cannot afford. I can totally understand that, but I will tell you, Trader Joe's has been a godsend for that. If I were to go to an HEB or a Kroger, <clears throat> or honestly, sometimes even Walmart, first of all, the ingredients are not whole and organic, antibiotic free, um, you know, cage free, that kind of stuff. And I always pay more. If I, I've worked this out before, I almost get the same thing every time. If I were to go to HEB or Kroger, and I don't know if you guys have, Randall's is even way higher, but um, wherever you are in the world, I'm sure you have these um, supermarkets, Albertsons, those kind of things. This all would cost me about $100 to $180 more than I just spent at Trader Joe's. So I know that not everybody has Trader Joe's. I would encourage you if you do not, to go to Walmart and check out, you know, what you like in their kind of organic sections. Um, I love Walmart has frozen egg white patties. They have frozen turkey, um, turkey sausage patties. And I like to heat those up in an Ezekiel muffin and that's really good for you, you know? So kind of do some searching, figure out where you can get stuff. I know it's really annoying to go from this store and that store and that store and kind of put everything together. Um, for me, Trader Joe's is just amazing. They have lots of them in California, Texas. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't done my research. I don't know where, I, I know they're hard to find. Um, so if you don't have one, I don't know, you may be able to order it online, but do make sure that you look for things that say, because just if something says organic, that doesn't matter. I mean, make sure that it says like chicken raised with no antibiotics, minimally processed, that kind of stuff. Because guys, what you put into your body because of the food, um, the food industry in the U.S. is really, really stripped of nutrients. I mean, even if you look at like, let's say a juice like this, that's got all these vitamins in it, but also has all this added sugar, preservatives, things to keep the juice good. Um, you know, so you want to make sure that when you're looking at ingredients, you don't see a million ingredients. You want to make sure that, you know, just like this marinara sauce, I'm looking at the ingredients and you just see tomatoes, garlic, onion, um, you know, that kind of stuff, whole ingredients. And that is going to be, your body is going to process that. It's going to get fueled by that. You're going to be giving your body what it needs. So even if you're eating, you know, a little bit more carbs or a little bit more fat, if it's pure, your body needs it and wants it. Um, so that's just kind of my tips, you guys. I hope that you guys were inspired to, you know, commit to be healthy and fit for your whole family in 2016. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure to comment below this video. Um, if you want to follow me and my fit life, um, my team for my kind of health and fitness team is called Wild Republic Health and Fitness. Um, on Instagram, I'm fit.wild.andfree. On Facebook, I'm Lauren Wild or Wild Republic Fitness. Um, you can go to www.wildrepublic.com for recipes um, and to interact with me there. And you can always email me at team, W-I-L-D-E, Wild Republic at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Also, please comment below if you want to see more videos like this or if you have an idea for a video about health, fitness, and just a generally healthy lifestyle in general, I will get it up there for you. Bye guys, have a great 2016.